Hey beauties, long time no see. I don't want to waste too much time um, explaining obviously why I haven't been doing videos. It has been a bit. I think the last thing that I did was my giveaway, which was really, really fun. Thank you to everyone who entered. Um, I want to thank you guys for all your messages, kind of asking me where I was, saying you miss me, where are my videos. Uh, life just kind of snuck up on me and I got super busy. But again, I don't want to waste time um, explaining and all that kind of stuff. I just want to get to the video because I know a lot of you have missed me and I've missed you too. So I'm back and I'm going to put a lot of more effort into trying to make videos for you guys. So today I'm going to share with you guys my favorites. I didn't do an April favorites, so this is going to be kind of like an April slash May um, favorites in one. I do have a lot of products. I probably could show you guys a lot more than I am going to show you, but I don't want to make it too crazy long because I know it's already going to be long, especially because you guys all know that I love to yap. Um, so let's start off with non-makeup stuff. Um, I'm going to start off with this. This is something I've never really talked about before. It's deodorant. We all use it, most of us. Um, I really wanted to look into something that was a little bit more natural. I had looked into one that is at Sephora, and I can't remember the name of the brand at the moment. Canadian, it was $23. And I'm sorry, that is, I don't care how good it smells, that's crazy for um, deodorant. So I found this one just at my Shoppers Drug Mart, any sort of drug store. This is by Tom's. This is what it looks like. Long lasting, 24 hours, aluminum free, PG free, women's deodorant. This one's called Beautiful Earth. And it kind of just does smell earthy, kind of like lemony, a little bit of sweetness sense to it. And uh, so far I'm really liking it. It's clinically proven odor protection, added skin conditioners. It says cruelty free, ingredients, purpose, and source. I don't exactly know what that's for. Um, anyways, yeah, it's just got like 100% natural fragrance, vitamin E, blah, blah, blah. So it's a um, organic brand and so far I'm really really liking it. It was probably like a dollar or two more than any other kind of like lady speed stick or something that I buy so to me that's worth it. I thought I would give it a try if you don't if I didn't like it you know you can always go back to whatever else you own but I just thought it was something different that I would try. I've never really tried any sort of deodorant like that. Uh, the next thing I guess I can go into hair. I bought this probably like two months ago. I've been using it a lot. This is actually my second bottle. This is the Studio Line Silk and Gloss L'Oreal Volume Mousse Silk Shine and Touch with Silk Microfibers. Um, I think it's Eva Longoria that is the promoter of this like on commercials and I absolutely love her. She's stunning and of course she has amazing hair so I'm like oh I'm gonna try it because of course I'll have Eva Longoria hair after. Not so much but it does give a lot of volume. I put it in when my hair is wet just into the roots and it does give me kind of that extra bit of oomph. Um, unfortunately it only lasts for like the you know the first day after you shampoo. Um, I tend not to wash my hair every day so days after that it doesn't really keep that um, kind of voluminous but it does give my hair a little bit of extra hold. You guys have all seen me tease my hair in the past and such. Uh, using the Osis Dust It, um, which I did find, I wasn't going to show this, but I just thought of it. I did find a new one that I quite like, and it's a little bit cheaper. It's called Lanza Healing Hair Care Power Up Powder Up Texturizer. This is what it looks like. I won't go too much into it. You guys know what Osis Dust It is about, and this is like a kind of a comparable, cheaper version. But yeah, this is really good. I really, really like it. You guys know I have super fine limp hair, and I absolutely love that one. And I find it's a mousse that doesn't give me that kind of like sticky, gunky feeling after, which is awesome. And the last, yes, last product I will talk about with hair is something that I actually received from somebody that watches me here on YouTube. I also watch her. We talk a lot on Twitter. Um, and we did a, I don't, this was so long ago. I feel so bad that I didn't even, like, she sent me this, and I didn't try it until maybe a month and a half ago and I don't know why like I'm totally crazy for not trying it I was always interested in it and then I kind of found it sitting in my drawer and was like hello let's try this out it is Moroccan oil and it's the oil treatment for all hair types so I'm guessing this is just like a little sample size which I don't know if you guys can see the liquid comes to here so me using it for like a month and a half and washing my hair every third day, that's pretty reasonable. I 
put it in when my hair is wet and I kind of just twist it throughout the ends of my hair. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, I got my hair professionally colored. I always used to use box dye. I think I've mentioned it and actually showed the kind that I liked. I still love that brand and I wanted to go lighter so obviously I knew I had to go professional. It's just dangerous to do that kind of stuff at home to me. I didn't want to go there. Took five hours. Anybody that dyes their hair like almost black with box dye and you go to a salon, yeah. She did it like really slowly. She didn't want to strip my hair with just like putting in a crap load of bleach but yeah five hours later and a lot of kind of color decoloration I think they call it I can't remember um toning dyeing and all that so I kind of got some just lighter highlights and such in my hair I'm really really loving it I still really enjoy having dark hair but with that lightness I was finding my ends were looking kind of I don't know just not as healthy like they were looking kind of fried with dark hair I never had that problem I find um, like I know family members and friends with blonde hair and I look at their hair and I, I don't know if it's just from like this is not natural blonde this is like dyed blonde people that it just looks more frizzy I don't know if it's just because it's lighter or whatnot but I find my dark always looks shiny and healthy so when I got the light it stopped looking like that so using this Moroccan oil has completely changed my hair I've never felt my ends so soft I feel like my hair is just so shiny um, you don't need a lot of it, and I absolutely love it. I know there's argan oil too, which now that I've tried Moroccan oil, I kind of want to try the argan oil just to compare the two, see which one I like better, but I'm not going to go there until I've finished this Moroccan oil. So probably going to assume, honestly, I won't finish that one until like December, like into the new year, which is fine because I absolutely love it. Um, then I'll go on to some body products. First, I'm going to... Actually, the, both of these are by the same line from Bath & Body Works. Um, it's the True Spa line. This right here is their Refreshing Citrus Body Scrub with Sugar Crystals. This smells amazing. I want to just like ah, lick it out of the jar. It looks like you can see the crystals. Um, it is a more oily product. I will say I don't actually know how much oil is in this or anything. Um, but it smells amazing and it like it is oily so not I wouldn't say oily it's just I guess moisturizing would be a better word to use so I put it on and I'll like rub it all over and the sugar crystals kind of fade and after I come out of the shower or the bathtub I still feel moisturized and it's not like a like I don't know I keep saying oily but it's not an oily moisturized feeling it's just like like you know when you go somewhere that's really humid and you put on like a moisturizer and you kind of get that feeling that's what it kind of feels like to me like it just feels like my skin is so hydrated and I absolutely love that and because it kind of has that the scent stays on you and I absolutely love that just because the scent is so amazing it smells like a margarita it's delicious and the other product that I'm using through that line is the glycolic acid cracked heel treatment um, I don't have horrible horribly cracked heels but I find in the summer just from wearing sandals and such my heels and my big toe on the side and like just kind of like the bottom of my foot where um, a lot of the pressure is from the sandal gets really dry and I mean it's not necessarily cracked like this cream um, is called but I do get really dry patches and you guys know when you have dry feet and let's say you you know go somewhere and your feet get dirty that dirt like buries itself into there and your feet it's just harder to clean your feet and I don't know of course it doesn't look nice um that's one thing I do love about winter wearing like socks and boots and shoes all the time and slippers. My feet are so hydrated and moisturized naturally but then when the summer comes my feet just go crazy. Especially if you're going in pools lots. I find like um, you know the chemicals and stuff in pools really can dry out your body in general let alone your feet. And I am absolutely loving this. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And this one is the 16 ounce I believe or oh sorry 4 ounce. I don't know why I said that. It's $16. This is Amer or Canadian, so I don't know how, how much it costs in the States. Probably a few dollars less. Um, now I'll talk about another product that's actually not a love for this month, but I just wanted to bring it up. Um, I had read about this almost a year ago, and it kind of was on my list of things to try from a blogger that I absolutely love. And for some reason I never did and then a guru that we all I'm sure are subscribed to Tiffany mentioned it recently and I was like oh yeah I totally wanted to try that I really like um, self tanners 
I tan extremely well outside, but of course, because I like I have naturally olive skin and I rarely burn. Even when I went to Mexico, I burnt like just a little bit here. But I, at the same time, like as much as I love tanning when I was in high school, I oh my god, you guys should see my grad picture. Like I was a beach beauty with my skin. Like I was so dark. But um, I don't know. Like just as I've kind of grown up, I realize you know sunbathing as much as you need your vitamin D you should do at a minimum and tanning beds I stay away from the only time I go in a tanning bed is if I'm going somewhere like Mexico and I just want that quick base I'll go like five times for you know 10 minutes each time just to get a base just not to burn but I know it's horribly bad for your skin not to mention when I was in Europe one of my cousins had skin cancer and I had seen where it was the grafting that had been done to him and honestly it just freaked me out and I just don't want to ever have to deal with that in my life so yeah just to stay away from that and then the aging you know like there's so much that the sun can do to your body that's not good so of course i love self tanner so i tried this glow fusion that again i'm sure you guys saw at tiffany's um video for i will say i do like the color it gives me i don't i don't know if the camera's going to pick up my color properly um I don't know, in person though, I do like the color it gives me. It just looks like I have a tan, a natural tan. I don't feel, my body doesn't feel orange. Um, however, the way she described to use it, I will never do that again. I've used it twice and both times I've had issues. So the first time spraying it on, like um, putting a little bit on, I don't feel like it gives you enough coverage on the box. I'm not, not, not on the bottle, on the box, it says to spray liberally, so I mean, I don't know, I would put more on, and then both the first and second time, which obviously I should have learned from the first time, but I just got excited to use it again, because it is a good product, I will say that, it's just the way you apply it that you really need to be careful of, um, this is embarrassing, but I'll show you guys anyways, my hands right now are bloody orange, um, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. Yeah, you can see it here. I'm like freaking crazy, gross tanned in between there. And you guys have no idea how much I scrub my hands after I was done. Like I scrub them. So the first time I did the spray rub on, my hands did turn a bit orange. Should have learned, didn't. Uh, the second time I use it, what I would do is I would spray it into my hand, rub my hands, and then apply it, which to me is the best way to apply this, spraying it on your body. I just do not like. But. Um, as much as washing my hands, I thought I did really good. I did. Like, I sat there and scrubbed them for a good full minute with soap. Um, what I'm going to try next time, and I'll, guys, I'll let you guys know the results of it, is I'm going to spray it in my hand, do my face, my neck, whatever, this area, wash my hands. Spray it into my hand. Like, I'm going to do each body part and then wash my hands and see if that makes a difference. Otherwise, absolutely, you need gloves to apply this stuff. Absolutely. Um, because it's that like natural protein tan it mixes with your proteins in your body naturally and is supposed to give you the color your skin should naturally go when you tan which is really neat it's a really great um, sorry if you guys can hear vehicles driving by on my street um, it's a really neat product it's kind of you know different to me it's not just a cream so that is one way I would apply it the other way I would I'm going to try which again I'll let you guys know if you want to know maybe I'll do a blog post after I've tried out a bunch of things with it is um, putting some cream in your hand spraying the product into it rubbing the two together and then applying it but again washing your hands a lot because because it's that protein it's gonna start like tanning your hands and because it dries so fast it's gonna dry into your hands so quick so that's why I hope you guys can see how horribly my hands look right now like they're not good I, don't like, I didn't even want to film today just because my hands, but I was like, whatever. I'll just let them know and prove to them that as good as this product is, and I think it is, you need to be careful. Um, I think that was a bus that just went by. Anyways, another product I wanted to mention to you guys. Not a product. Another, I guess, no, not a product. I have it burning right now. This is a candle from Bath & Body Works, and it's called Beach Side. It smells amazing. I don't want to burn my face off. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. There, it's safer. Um, it just, I don't know, it just, it does smell beachy to me. Like, it kind of has that, like, lotion that you're rubbing on yourself with, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain this beachside candle. It smells amazing, though. When I smelt it in candle form, I was like, hmm, it's interesting. 
and then I burnt it and it smelled even better. I find Bath and Body Works candles always smell better than what they smell like just smelling them when they're burning. So if you guys smell a candle and you love it, you're going to love it even more when it's burning. It just smells different. Um, sidebar ended. Next. Uh, so now I'll get on to beauty favorites. While I'm on the topic of Bath and Body Works, I picked this up recently and I am obsessed with it. It is the CO Bigelow Spearmint Mentha Lip Shine. Um, and it, yeah, it's in the scent spearmint. I, if you guys have watched me for any amount of time, you'll know I'm obsessed with anything minty. This stuff's great. It's just clear, but it's moisturizing, which is great, and it gives you that shine. Um, something I'm going to talk about that is and has always been a favorite of mine, but that I'm super sad about is my um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Professional Size. Yeah. Yeah. That is a squeeze ease tube for your toothpaste. So I'm squeezing the product onto my ring finger because I put it on, rub it on, apply it. Which I've been applying it under my eyes lately and then concealing. Totally helps, especially because I get those little lines that my concealer goes into and I kind of have to rub out after a bit. Awesome for under eyes. Never actually even thought of it, but obviously it's probably going to work. At least it does for me. I quite like it. So I'm squeezing it on and all of a sudden it pops and all this product kind of like oozes and it literally opened like the edging opened and I can see product in here right now but I've put this tube on just like I mean this is all I've I pushed out all the air this right here is all full of product and I mean it's like there's no air in this I've pushed out the air yeah no there's zero air in this and I just keep this toothpaste squeeze ease tube flipping on it so that to me totally annoying I know I shouldn't be complaining because we all bloody complained about the old Urban Decay potion pretty bottles that sucked. You know what? Um, but yeah, so I mean, we're all excited about this new tube and then this happens to me. And all the other ones are in this form too, just not as big. So I don't know if anybody else is going to have that problem, but you should definitely invest in some squeezies tubes. I mean, it works, but it kind of sucks because I go to work on a client and I'm like, just squeeze it into this little thing right here without them noticing. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. Product flaw. I don't know if I just got a lemon. Moving on. Next, I will talk about... I guess I'll just talk about a couple face products. Um, for my giveaway, I gave away one of the Amazonian Clay Tarte Longwear Blushes in Blissful. So, like, the corally one. Gorgeous. Super pretty. Um, I don't own that one. I swatched it obviously in the store before I bought it for my giveaway. I did give a choice for my giveaway and that was like, it was like 99% everyone wanted that one. So I had also gotten Exposed. I love just kind of natural blushes and this one's amazing. I think I may have talked about this in one of my other videos or maybe I just feel like I talked about it in another video because I talked about it in the giveaway. Um, exposed is beautiful on the days that I just don't know what blush I want to wear that's what I use because it's just so easy it gives that kind of bronze glow and it's absolutely stunning especially on every skin tone like I've used it on so many skin tones and it really just translates so nice differently on every skin tone and the second one I got here is called natural beauty and I didn't think this one was super unique um, I didn't think it was anything crazy but this blush is amazing I probably wear it more than exposed I'm wearing it today it's kind of that I don't know it's like a mix of a pink kind of a ready and a coral all in one it's just beautiful especially for the spring and summer well like I guess it's summer already isn't it um, beautiful natural beauty probably my favorite color out of the line um, obviously there are other colors that other people are gonna love but to me that one's just amazing the next thing I'll show you guys is something that I've been using probably for the past you know two months that I haven't been on YouTube every day almost every day I won't say every day probably at least five times out of seven out of the week and it is Luna cream color base this is what it looks like uh, it kind of has some dirtiness to it but it's cream what are you gonna do I wear it everywhere I've been wearing it and am wearing it on my uh, cheekbone put a little down the center of my nose I have it right now as an uh, eyebrow highlight and in my inner corners I've just been using it so much I've owned it for a long time I also have one for my kit I think it's 
the most beautiful highlight for brides too. It's just gorgeous and depending on how light of a hand you use, like it can look great on every skin tone, even the darkest of skin tones, as long as you apply it with, um, you know, a proper hand. It's just beautiful. All right, I have a couple more things to show you guys. Uh, this is new and I had to try it out because I kind of love the original. It is the Grow Luscious Mascara and this one's the plumping one. So instead of being like fully greeny, it kind of fades to silver. Really, really nice. I've been using it only for about a week. Yeah, I bought it about a week ago. And as you guys know who have listened to me talk about uh, mascaras and such before, I typically don't like a mascara until it dries out a bit. So kind of like three weeks into use. And me liking a mascara that soon after using it speaks volumes for me. So I'm probably going to love it even more in a couple weeks. And lastly, I will talk about two Sigma products. I'm sure you guys know which two they are. They're new and I haven't had a chance to talk about them because I've been on a little hiatus, obviously. The first one is the Sigma Drying Shape. So impressed. I honestly, though, need to go buy five more <laughs> because the times that I've washed my brushes and used this, I have, you know, obviously two, four, six, eight. 10, 12 brushes in here and then I have like 60 brushes just laying there all sad that they're not in the drying shape. So what I've actually been doing is like I'll wash my brushes and those will become dry and then I'm putting in ones that have been sitting there for six hours and are remotely dry into the drying shape. So I'm going to need to buy myself some more because honestly I need more. I have a ridiculous amount of brushes for clientele and myself. So yeah, I need another one. It really is amazing. Um, you just slide your brush in and then um, you make sure that the brush is in here. I really honestly am blown away by how quick brushes dry, especially the Sigmax ones. Like those things, I'm not even going to lie, took at least, you know, anywhere from like 18 to 24 hours to dry before. And within six hours, they are dry. And that to me is amazing. Um, a really neat thing too is if you hang it upside down, you can take these snaps, they're just magnetic, and you just kind of snap them together, and then you can actually place it hanging, like sitting upside down. So that to me is really, really awesome too. So I mean, they can dry even better, and you don't have to worry about your ferrule getting wet, or um, any of the bristles, you know, within that ferrule loosening or whatnot. So yeah, I absolutely think this is amazing, and I definitely need at least four to six more <laughs> so that's gonna be on my wish list um, the next thing I'm gonna talk about which I'm just gonna quickly share with you guys I'm just gonna kinda show it um, because my next video is going to be a complete review slash versus the Clairsonic is the Sigma cleansing and polishing tool so it comes like this it came in a beautiful pink box of course Sigma's packaging is always above and beyond um, so it comes with the tool and then three heads. Uh, the one that's fully pink is the soft. The one that is pink and white is the medium. And then the one that is full white is the firm. So you kind of just have to gear it towards your own personal uh, uses and such. I will share with you guys something that I love and that is that I've realized that the pink one, the soft one, I really love for my face and neck, just anywhere really, really delicate. The medium one, I've been using on my upper arms and kind of like my shoulders and such, I'm sure like, like all of us have and maybe still do get a little bit of, you know, breakouts or little bumps and things you just wanna like polish off your body. Um, on my upper left, only arm which is completely annoying but I'm happy it's not on my right arm and I don't know why it's just on my my left one at all I have little bumps all the time just to my left one and um, like they're kind of I don't know I don't want to call them pimples but they kind of are like they're just really small little white pimples um, like I can pop them it's totally disgusting I try not to because I've scarred myself from doing it in the past and I don't know why it's just my left one I don't know if any of you guys other of you suffer from this but it's just like from here to here like just in this area I have these little bumps and using this medium one on it is really kind of getting into them and I'll let you guys know in a future video um, 
how it's going, but I really am hoping this th this polishing and cleansing tool clears that problem up for me. That would be just amazing. I've tried so many things to get rid of it and nothing works. Absolutely nothing. Not even my miracle cloth. My miracle cloth has done miracles for me. So anyways, there's that. And then the white one I've been using on my legs actually. Um, before I used that self tanner I was talking about before, the fusion glow or glow fusion. I polished my complete body with this cleansing and polishing kit. Best exfoliation um, I've ever used and the great thing about it is when you're using any other exfoliant like a you know like in the shower a cream one or even something like I showed you before it has you know it's full of products so I mean sometimes um, if you have an excess amount on your skin it's things like self tanners aren't going to sink in or you're going to become splotchy but using something that's totally clean and is just you know kind of working at your skin it's really really awesome so that's something I discovered that I absolutely love about it and in my next video you guys will see a complete review and comparison to the Clarisonic. So that is my favorites for the months of April and May. Like I said, I could probably show you guys so many more things that I've been using, but these are just things that as soon as I looked at them, I kind of put them in my pile to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I am really glad to be back. I hope you guys are too. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you guys all really soon. Toodles.